Hello, and welcome to this week's IRQTC Training Tips Newsletter. I'm Brian Traskos, Founder and Director of the Institute for Rehabilitative Qigong and Tai Chi. This week, we're going to talk about how to make body work and manual therapies even more effective. Whether you're giving the body work or whether you're receiving the body work in either event, this information is going to help you make that process even more effective. Basically, when we do body work, whether it's a soft deep tissue massage, even you know on some levels, even if it's Swedish massage, but connective tissue, deep tissue, muscle energy techniques, uh, joint manipulation techniques, right? Whatever kind of work we're doing on the body or, or is being done on the body to you, if you're receiving, the whole point of doing those things is to what we call disorganize patterns. Think about it like this. We go through the course of our day and we pretty much do the same things every day. I mean, think about it. You probably put your pants on the same way every day for the last 25 years. The same leg in first, you've uh, hoisted them up the same way, you've buckled your belt the same way, you get in out of your car the same way, you sit in your you know, in your chair the same way, you sit at your desk the same way, or maybe you're, uh, you know, working in an outdoor job and you're doing um, repetitive movement or, or lifting tasks, or even if you're working in a mill and moving bags or something. So bottom line is most of us move the same way day after day after day after day. And when we move in those same ways day after day after day after day, our bodies literally become the shape of what we do most often. You guys know all about computer posture, right? So here's computer posture. Sit, people sit at their computers, and this is what they turn into. And then they come walking it, you know, into the clinic, and they're saying, God, you know, I'm having trouble with my neck, and you know, all those kinds of things. Well, of course, because look what's happening to your posture, because day after day after day, you sit in that posture, which is technically a repetitive motion, but it's being held in that position. Muscles are still firing on one side of the body and still being what we call inhibited on the other side of the body, no matter how you slice it. So basically, we are patterning our own bodies all day long, and our bodies are becoming the shape of how we're patterning them. Okay, enter in our body work therapies. So the body worker gets in there, starts to stretch tissue, mobilize joints, uh, you know, stretch uh, muscle tissue, right? So we're doing all those body centered things and essentially what we're doing is we're disorganizing the patterns that have been organized in through the course of our day, even if they're happening unconsciously. So that's great, right? You get up off the table, oh God, I feel so much better, my back is less stiff, my neck feels better, I feel a million times better. Well, that's because those patterns have been disorganized. All right, so great, thanks for the massage. I'll see you in two weeks when I need one again. And we leave the massage room or the body working table or the, uh, the manual therapist, whatever it is, and you go right back into your life again and you start doing the same things over and over and over and over and over again. And now you are re-patterning the same pattern back in. And then you gotta go back again to have the body work, the manual therapy, whatever it is, to have it disorganized again. So how do we make this process better? Well, we do it with intentional reorganization, not just randomized reorganization. That randomized reorganization is just when you go back into your life, or maybe we should just call it unintentional organization, but it's still being reorganized. You have it on the table, you get disorganized, you get back up into life, you're reorganizing by putting your pants on the same way, by doing the dishes the same way, by getting in and out of your car the same way, you get the, you get the picture, right? So how do we intentionally reorganize. Well, we typically do that with exercises. And when we do exercise regularly, we are repatterning the system in hopefully a more advantageous way. Right? And this is where Tai Chi and Qigong come into play. So in typical physical therapy settings, when, we're, when we do exercise, we do them in linear patterns. One, two, three, four, five, six, right? We're doing them in these linear patterns, which are meant to strengthen isolated muscles, which are great. However, it's not repatterning total body function. So just a simple exercise from our neck and shoulders program. So you go in, you have your massage, you have uh, your body work, you have your therapies on your neck, whatever it is. And then afterwards, intentionally, you do a reorganization exercise that looks something like this. You reach back, you spin around, coming down, 
opening up and going the other way, and then coming here. So this is what we call swimming dragon, and this is on our rehabilitative Tai Chi for neck and shoulder program. And we go into great detail on that program of exactly how it repatterns the system, opening up the pec structure, activating muscles in the scapular stabilizing regions, opening up what we call the brachial plexus area, activating body, breath, and vision, vision phenomenon in order to truly repattern total body function. And we have uh, processes from the spine and lower extremity program also, one we call gecko, uh, gecko press. So it's here, and then it's a simple looking here, and then down, inhale, and exhale. So it's very simple exercises like this that start to reactivate total body function using body, breath, and vision activation throughout the, throughout the whole system in order to really repattern the body in a more intentional way. So how do we make body work and manual therapies more effective? We get on the table, we disorganize the dysfunctional patterns, and then based on how you are presenting on the table or how your client is presenting on the table, again, whether you're giving or receiving it, what we have to understand is then what are the best exercises or gestures from our Tai Chi and Qigong programs to uh, work forward from there in order to best reorganize those patterns in a highly effective way. So remember, disorganized with the body work and then intentional reorganization with rehabilitative Qigong and Tai Chi. Thanks so much for joining us again this week for IRQTC Training Tips newsletter. I look forward to seeing you at a training real soon. Take care. Bye-bye.